So, where Spicy are we? Spicy hair boy. Um, where are we? Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Normal egg and soldiers. Egg and soldiers breakfast and doing a little paperwork this morning. Um, just trying to sort out the car insurance. Um, and staring at me bit of woodwork that I did yesterday. Which I was quite, <laughs> quite pleased with because it's quite level and, and looks quite interesting. Um, that's me to crack on with that. To do, do a bit of metal work. Um, on behind the cooker and then prepare for the tiling which I may well do tomorrow um, even though I don't want to be doing a lot tomorrow because it's Sunday but it might be quite nice to do that on a Sunday just a little leisurely tiling situation because that's for me um, to do today what are you doing madame? me? Madame Barker Madam Barker, what are you doing today? I, um, trying to wake up, it looks I'm like. I'm trying to wake up. I'm waiting for Michael to come again, do a final bit of water. It's come out really good, the wall, actually. And Michael's actually really good at it. A little bit concerned that he might be better than me. <laughs> let, 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 me let, let me just enlighten you, people. Um, about 11 o'clock last night, somebody went, I said, what are you doing? I'm just going to have a look at my wall. And I went, why are you having a look at your wall? I just want to see if mine's as good as or better than Michael's. <laughs> She's got nothing it's, to worry it's about, done people. Really good, He's actually, done a it's lovely really job. Nice. He's done a lovely job. I, it's always know. worrying when you allow somebody else to to do some, like you know, trial work on your house, especially like mm. watering. Because if it didn't turn out, you'd have to dig it all out and start all over again. It'd be yeah. a lot of work. So. Yeah. So it's always a little bit worrying whether they're going to do it right. And he's done a really good job. Yeah, so I might just get him to come and do the rest. I might tell him, actually, I think you need a bit of practice, Michael. <laughs> That's <laughs> the good thing. practice on this wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. You practice on this wall. Mm, yeah, you're almost getting it. Why don't you try this wall? Yeah, you know. Really and now, well, but Yeah, maybe just, just fill it in. Do the outside of the house. <laughs> just to be on the safe yeah. side. But yeah, anyway, so Michael's coming over. We're doing the final um, stage of the watering. That's going to be really my morning. We've got to go shopping later because we didn't get shopping last night. Yawn. Um, but it will be and, a trip oh, out in the new car. One thing we are going to do, because we didn't get to hang the mirrors yesterday, so today we are definitely hanging the mirrors so you can see them. And I'm going to be hanging the um, um, the curtains for the tea room because um, we've had a tidy up in here, got a lot of the dust out now. So I'm going to hang the curtains. And you haven't yet seen me making the curtains, but I've got a whole video on that, so I'm going to put that clip in as well. Um, so you can see uh, see me making all the curtains and furnishings and how I did it. Um, that's, that's our day, really, isn't it? Yeah, busy day as usual. Yeah. Uh, and we'll, we'll check you at the end of it. See you soon. Bye. Does this mean these two are getting on? I'll get the impression they are. What are you doing, kids? Hey. Enjoying the sunshine. You're looking very content together. Yeah? Yes? Yes, Hansy? Oh, Bess has got to get up. I just think there might be food about. Did somebody say food? Somebody say something to eat? Yeah? So I'm just going to go in the tea room and just show you what I've been working on this morning. So we had this little bit, uh, um, I had to put a sort of a piece of wood behind the cooker so it would come off the wall and line up with the way I wanted the worktops to, to do. But obviously I can't really have that sitting there. I'm tiling the back of these, uh, but I can't have that sitting there like it is. I could have stained it, I could have done whatever. But my dear friend Dave said, why don't you see if you can fashion some kind of metal at the back there to make it look part of the cooker, which is what I've done. Um, I can't say it's brilliant, but it, it certainly will do the job and doesn't look out of place. Um, it's a bit of aluminium, 0.8 of a mil thick. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's quite hard to work with. And I'm not a great metal worker. I wouldn't say I'm anything like that. And I'm, I'm sure the metal workers amongst you lot would probably do 
a much much better job i literally bashed it with a hammer until it was in the shape i wanted it and then cut the ends and i'm going to cap either side but um i'm happy with it and hopefully lisa will be happy with it um and then we'll tile down onto that and it should look look like it's it's supposed to have been there so yeah so when that's all tiled i'll come back and show you again Sounds like a fish and chip shop. <laughs> what do you think of the wall? Oh, I think it was both of them. Look done a really good fabulous. job, hasn't he? He has done a really good job. Um, I think you've both done a stunning job. You know, I just, it does knock me out these days when you see it done. And, and, and the, the painting, you know, really makes the stones pop out, doesn't it? It does, not it? Because of the, I suppose, because of the colour that we're using in the mortar, you know, it looks grey. It does lighten up, doesn't it? it yes. Yeah. Does, it does, you know, it's weird the way it changes colour um, and gives a bit, a bit of more of a whitey, creamy sort of look. But I suppose it's the sand that we're using. The sand that we're using is quite grey. Yeah. And, and I've seen a lot of lime mortar that is very creamy and all that and i suppose it's the sand and as i as somebody said i think it was can you believe this i know you're gonna hate me for saying this but i think it was that stephanie lady um who said that different regions you know they yeah, use different yeah. colored sands and that would be the lime mortar would obviously reflect that part of the region you would pull it out of that region whether this is our region whether it's is just big mat sand and that's, that's, you know, comes from wherever, general sand. The thing that is, is that we use the same stuff and it looks fantastic. And even if you don't use exactly the same thing, as long as you don't use that on the same wall, you should retain the colour. Because yeah. a slight colour change in another wall isn't going to make a whole lot of difference. But I think he has done a blinding job. And you have done a blinding job. And the stones, some of these stones are brilliant, just aren't they? Look at them. Look at the Huge, aren't they? Yeah. It's great. They're just absolutely lovely. I come here to show you a picture of um, our children. Oh. It's um, it's strange in France. You get days when people come to your door, dogs go mad. And uh, then you realise that they're actually there is somebody there, you know, and, and you've got to go and, and, and talk to them, and, and uh, you know they're very French, and, and, and it's quite difficult for me because I don't speak a lot of French, but you kind of understand what that is. So this is a lump of venison, the La Chasse, and that's a the hunt. leg. <laughs> the hunt. So that is yeah a dirty great lump of venison that is hopefully we're going to have for Sunday dinner. Martin, Doreen, you're going to be very jealous. Look at that. Look at I, I don't think I should look inside in, place, in case people no. get a bit queasy. No, look at it, look. Oh, wow. This massive, massive leg of anything that the dogs, the dogs want. <laughs> what, but what, what do we do with the leg, baby? The I'm foot? Not, I'm, not really, I'm not really sure. I think it's a possibility that we might hack it off and give it to the big lad. Because I think... He, <laughs> it's like, oh yes please daddy, yes please face. daddy. Look at his face, his face is like... <laughs> well really, for me? For me, for me? For me? Yeah, just, the, just the foot and the leg. Oh wow. I don't know, I suppose that would be alright with that. <laughs> oh wow. Missy's learning real fast. We're going to have to save that and have the boys over and do a nice slow cooked well, piece I, of venison. Well, the best idea is now is to either freeze it yeah. We'll butcher it as uh, much as, you know, we'll maybe take a bit off I think tomorrow. butcher it now, put it up in the freezer, yeah. Yeah, so, so just stick that in the fridge, would you? Oh, no, I'm not touching it. Just stick it in the fridge. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? Oh, That's mad. It's beautifully done. Oh, very nice. Do Thank you, you very much, the shash. Do you hear what he said? No. The what do you say? This is from the president of the shash. Oh. Okay, so I'm hanging the curtains, which I suddenly realised you haven't seen me make yet. So 
I better show you, I guess. This is what I did last weekend, I think it was. Um, and then come back and see what they look like. Okay, so this morning you find me in apartment two upstairs. And the reason why I'm up here is basically because it's the best space for me to spread out all my fabric to do my curtains for downstairs. Nice clean area um, and I can, yeah, spread my stuff out. So downstairs in the tea room we've got three doors and there's quite, quite big drafts that come through those doors. They're old doors, stone, surround. You're never going to be able to properly get rid of that um, those drafts. So the best way to do that is to put up some really heavy curtains. Now as we know in France, beautiful fabric you can get in France, absolutely gorgeous fabric. Um, I love going to the fabric store. The only thing I don't like is looking at the price because it's blooming expensive. Um, now for, to be able to do the three doors downstairs, I'm gonna need about 14 meters, minimum 14 meters. Looking at average 10 pound a meter, um, that's even just for your basic stuff. That's without the lining. So you're looking at 140, 150 quid by the time I bought the lining. You're looking at a good couple of hundred quid, 250 quid I'm going to spend on curtains, um, just for the doorways. And as you know, budget is dwindling quite rapidly, so I need to claw back wherever I can. And the curtains is one of them. So what I've done is, we went to call it the other day to the supermarket, and they often have little stalls, external stalls, uh, before you go into the supermarket. And there was one very handy, Stall, uh, stall, which was curtains, and I brought these um, curtains, perfect, absolutely perfect colour, and they are lined already. Um, they are thermally lined, so they've got thermal lining, really thick and beautiful. And I bought them. They had on the top of them these, you know, the rings. Uh, now I can't stand these rings on curtains because they make too big uh, um, gaps in between. I really don't like them. I much prefer where you can draw the curtains in and have really thick, luxurious curtains. Um, so I've cut off the, the top. Now these, these cost me 10 pounds a curtain. So I bought six of them, so 60 quid for the curtains. They're already lined, so I don't need to buy lining material. The only thing that I obviously don't have on them is the top, I'm, I'm not sure what this is called, but the top webbing that I need. Um, now the good thing is I'm a hoarder, and when I was in the UK, I used to go to the charity shops all the time. Obviously, I used to work for a charity, and, um, and we used to have over 30 charity shops. So every time I used to, visit one of the areas that had a charity shop, I'd pop in and buy any of the curtains they had. Purely to the fact that I could either use the fabric, use the lining, or use the top header. And I'm very pleased I did, because I now have loads of curtains. I actually really like this fabric, so I may use this fabric somewhere. Um, but the main thing is it's got the header on it, so I would take the header off, instead of having to buy that, use it from this, use the fabric elsewhere. Actually, that might be quite good. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. In the future, at some stage, I'm going to use this fabric. And I'm not gonna tell you when I use it. Let's wait and see if you, the subscribers, who watch avidly, of course, um, see when I use this on something. And you can shout out and, um, and say whether you see it or not. So we'll have a little game on that one. Um, that'll be a bit of fun. And then the winners I'll, I'll do a shout out for. But, um, but yes, I'm going to use the header of this. So what I've done is cut the tops off. I'm now just um, ironing the hems up, all the seams and everything, and putting the top on. And voila, we'll have our curtains. And I would have only spent 60 quid, which is absolutely perfect. Um, you know, had I wanted to save more, one curtain would have done each door, so I could have just spent 30 quid. But I really want them to be um, nicely gathered and, and look really nice and uh, quite voluptuous. So, um, so I decided to have two curtains in each door that we can open and shut. But you'll see them when I hang them up anyway, when Ted hangs them up. So I better get on uh, making them. 
I have sewn one, so I just sew in my second one now. So just ironing, and this is why this area is really great because the curtains that I did before, when you saw me do the curtains for, for the apartment number two, I did them in the barn on my big table, and that was great. However, the problem is the barn is leaking drastically, um, so I can't do them in there anymore because it's, it, yeah, it's just um, puddles of water everywhere and um, dirt and uh, God knows what else. So, um, yeah, not very good. So in here, it means that I can do them without the fear that the materials are all going to get filthy. So let's crack on and get them done. The, uh, the big windows in the tea room and again I have now this material goes back years so it just shows it's always good to keep every bit of material you can this goes back to my dancing days now I haven't danced for 25 years these came out of one of the theatres and they were thrown away and I asked if I could have them and I've got quite a few of these it's really really thick um, beautiful material, all fully lined, um, yeah, really gorgeous, love this material. I've been waiting and waiting for 25 years to, uh, to figure out where I'm ever going to use these, uh, this material. And the blinds for the tea room is perfect. It's a beautiful colour, um, matches perfectly, however, I want an accent on it. Now, Ted, I bought these curtains for Ted, um, I don't know, about 10 years ago, um, and they were really expensive then. These were for his music studio. What are you, how did you get up here? Hey, how did you get up here? You naughty little girl, you're not supposed to be up in the tower. Up, get up, up, leave, leave, out. Um, <laughs> get out. So. Back to what I was saying. These curtains I bought for Ted, they're in his music studio, and um, I really love this material. It, this is just beautiful. It's got all the right colours. Um, get out! The greens, the reds, the gold, beautiful. But they're not very big curtains, I've got much of it. So I'm only going to use these as an accent, and then I'm going to make a table runner for the table. Just bear with me. Little girl, what are you doing? Leave things alone, there's nothing for you in there. So, anyway, I'm going to make three separate um, mini blinds for the window, for the big window, and um, I'm going to use the red material as the main colour, and I'm going to use Ted's curtains as the accent. So, let's give it a go. First of all, I've got to get rid of this dog. Come on, you. Come on, monkey, monkey, come on. <laughs> You're getting too heavy to carry like this. Come on, down the tower. Okay, so I've made the first blind. Um, and as you can see, nice long blind. It will fold up and we'll have little accent at the bottom. Um, now if you want to see how I made the blinds then I did do a video on blind making um, oh, way back when. So have a scroll through the videos and, uh, and you'll see. It's really, they're so easy to do um, as long as you've got some bits of fabric um, even if they're not big enough for your window you can put bits together like I have here. 
Um, and uh, yeah, really easy to do. So go away, make some blinds. Um, I'm going to go and get Ted to, uh, to hang these up in the window. We'll see what they look like. Um, just two more to make though first. So it's time for the long-awaited mirror to go on the wall. Dun, dun, mirror, dun. mirror, on the wall. Who's the sucker who's got to put you up? Um, what do I need? I need something to... Word of warning. Don't use your nice DeWalt drills to mix up um, jointing compound and all that stuff that you mix up with powder with a mix, uh, whisk and, don't, uh, and forget to dry it because what happens is all your chuck rusts up and then it's a nightmare to try and get off and I think I've ruined it to the point that it's on its way out oh really? oh yeah and that's 200 quid's worth It's not anybody's fault apart from mine. Because I've done it as much as anybody else. And I should have known. Well, you dry the whisk, don't you? But you don't think of the. No, you chuck don't think. Because well, it splashes up, obviously, yeah. into the chuck. And you leave it in the chuck. And, and why I use that one to do it, you know, when I've got me, uh, me other one. But, you know, there is. They do specific ones. They do specific ones for mixing uh, of these, but you know the best thing to do is to go and buy a proper old Chinese one and leave the thing in there because it's it really is as stiff as a board, as I say. So our SDS is broke, so we can't use the SDS to drill into That's the stone. Right. That's, this has got enough guts to go into the stone, so it's already done. So, um, and just as you do these like this, the dogs come around and does a smell. <laughs> Have you popped? Yeah. Have you popped off, Bessie? Have you popped off? Oh, look at those big eyes. Beautiful big eyes. Back to the mirror. Right. Meanwhile, back at a ranch. What are you showing us, baby? I've shown you my finished... But I'm so pleased with this. The finished mirror. So this, this is so the this one. This is the broken one. This is the one you you did up, did yeah. you? Yeah. So this is made of plaster and clay that I've moulded and painted it and gilded it. And I just I'm really chuffed with it. I really yeah. am chuffed with it. You because should be. I just think as well. This is like Sheila and Ian gave us this. Yeah. And I think it's transformed it. Now I don't know where they had it, whether they kept it in the loft or where it, where they kept it or where it came from. But it's somebody else's history, and it just means that every time, like when Bernadette and Noel gave us those chairs, yeah. and we did the chairs. It's like it isn't just their history in this place; no. it's, it's other people's history as well. It's collective, isn't it? Yeah. It's collective. It's commune. You know, the things we just sort of gathering stuff from the commune yeah. and gathering stuff from from our lives and from other people's lives, and it's brilliant. Um, really have like you it. got? Um, because this is quite a dull video, because obviously we're getting, it's quite late in the, uh, you know, in the evening now. Yeah. It's probably after half six sometime. Have we got some better pictures we can show people? Yeah, I'll put yeah. some pictures up. Can I just show you my find? Another This is pretty difficult find to look at. Oh, there we go. At um, the Brookant. Okay. Um, I love this lamp. It needs a bit of a clean. But, um, but I love this lamp. I want all sort of, you know, lamps like this all around the place. Because I think it's beautiful. 
Um, yeah, we'll put some better pieces of that on as well, shall we? Yeah. Because we can't at the moment. If you switch it off for a minute, just just switch it off for a minute. I'm just wondering if... Yeah, you see, I can get a much better look at it then. Much better look at what it looks like. Lovely though, isn't it? It's really, really good. It you does know, need a bit of clean up. You know, but... like, it just as, as a... Yeah, you know, even... You don't have to switch it on. You can just have it as a, yeah. as a, as a feature. Yeah. All right. Okay, so... Teddy's got to get his arse in here and make the window seal. So you turn it around? Oh, look! There's some spices! Wait for the spice rack. So I've hung my curtains. Follow! What do you think? I think they look um, fantastic. The reason why we've hung these curtains is because obviously in the 14th century they didn't have insulation um, obviously in their doorways and windows and things like that like we do now. So there's huge drafts that come through these doors. There's no way you could keep those drafts out because of the, the stone surround. So um, back in the 14th century they would have hung very heavy especially if you were from a sort of um high society um a rich family then you would have had luxurious curtains hanging in all your doorways and windows um so that's why we've got luxurious curtains hanging in our doors and windows because <laughs> we're nobility <laughs> but anyway the nice and thick hopefully they'll keep out some dross it'll be really interesting actually tonight wanting to see not a lot of hope because i just i just noticed this Enormous gap on the side there. Oh yeah. Well, it might keep out some. I think. I think you know. There's. I think from a decorative point of view, they look, they look fabulous. Yeah. It, you know. You might get a little bit of benefit from the trouble is at the moment, and I'm not moaning. Is it 16, 17, 18 degrees? I know, but when you think two weeks ago... Two weeks ago, it's, it's yeah. still going to get cold because we know it's going to get cold. But I just think from a from a, from a a decorative point of view, I think, think they are... Do you think tie backs, baby? Do you um, think away? I think yeah, you tie backs. I think you will. I think you will need something. Yeah, we'll get um, some... Um, yeah. Or, do you remember those clips that we saw? Those really decorative clips? Yeah. Do you remember the, you, where you just clip them? You could utilise those... Um, coat hooks that you bought the other day, oh, yeah. which are still in, though. which is still in the. But, uh, yeah, they actually they'd be lovely. They'd work, really couldn't they? Good idea. They'd yeah, work because like they're very much like they like the candles. The, the candlesticks, yeah. uh, you know. I like uh, that idea. Yeah. Cool. Good thinking, Batman. Okay, because we've got we've got another coat hook. I did think about putting them on a nice piece of oak or a, a you know a nice old piece of oak. We and found then using... this, just, I don't think we've shown them this. No. So we found this iron, I can't really see it, forget me, me mop and bucket, but this iron um, coat stand. Yeah. Um, it isn't fixed to the wall yet, so it's just standing on the floor. That's why it looks a bit strange at the moment. So that's got to be fixed up. But we're still debating on whether to have this here or not. I think it's too big. I really do think, think it's, it's too big. big. I think the other one will work fine, but it's obviously it's only half of one, or it's only the top half, really, of something like that, whereas that's got lots of lovely hooks on it. Yeah. But then what we could do is just have that one fixed to the wall and then use something else lower down. So we just have a, get another one of those. And so you can... Because not many people these days have really long coats, do they? So. No. So, you know, I think you could get two lots of coats on there. Yeah. But, you know, how many, you know, this is the thing. Yeah. Hope you don't. So I've got one more set to hang and then we're done. Right, that's us done for the night. Outstanding. Dinner time. Right. So, end of day Saturday. End of day Saturday. And end Stay of the week. Day six. Yeah. Day six. We won't be doing a video tomorrow because it's day out. off tomorrow from videoing. Ghostly but um, listen. Sorry. We hope you've enjoyed the daily videos. Uh, we've really enjoyed doing yeah. them for you. And um, yeah, 
we hope uh, we hope you have too and we're we keep this format i think especially for you air patrons um i think we're try and do daily videos it may not be every day but we're certainly try and do um as many days as we can and just upload and raw footage just so yeah. you get to see a real up to date of yeah. what's going on at the moment and uh yeah we've had a good week haven't we've we? had a great week yeah it's been a really 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 good one yeah anyway take care everyone love to you all stay safe and um see you on Monday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you bye. later. Bye. 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 bye.